if you guys would please let me know and uh, we'll let them in. So good morning, everybody. Thank you guys for, for being on. I know it's a big task to ask when you come from one meeting to the next and come here, uh, but we wanna make sure we're doing everything that we promise you that we do and make sure that we're uh, providing proper training, education and all that kind of stuff uh, to make sure you guys are getting what you need and, and, uh, and uh, just help you as much as we can out in the field, et cetera. So great message from Ben today, uh, You know, obviously working your leads from top to bottom, making sure that you, uh, you get everything that you need. This is a, I don't know if your leadership, your individual leaders are asking you guys to do this or not. Um, and this is just to make sure that we're on task, we're on point, not stepping on anybody's feet. But as we operate as adults, as we operate our businesses, uh, when you guys are on any meeting with Ephes or any meeting with us or our individual teams, please use your first and last name. This is not meant to call anyone out, uh, but we're trying to track numbers for contest or you know something weird goes on with your numbers because we have to check numbers. Sometimes we don't know who, who you guys are. Some of you guys I've never met before, I've never spoken with. And we get on the meetings and there might be five Thomases. There might be three or four Jeremy's. There might be four or five. You might think you have a unique name and then you get on there and there's three of them and there's no way that we can track that. And it takes a lot of time. And what solves that is just you guys putting your first and last name. I know some of us have nicknames that we may have been called by our friends and families from college and all that kind of stuff. But here, just from a professional standpoint, if you could you please use on FS meetings, and Slack and Band and all that kind of stuff. You can use your first and last name. It would be extremely, extremely helpful. Um, any good news? Uh, I've got tons to share, but uh, any good news from any of our leadership or anything that anybody would like to share from a good news standpoint? Anybody? Anybody at all? One once. Hey, y'all. Yep, yeah, Tim, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I first of all, I, I think I recognize uh, Matthew Tolbert. Uh, gentleman's down in savannah georgia and is just super hungry wanting to get started and so just like most of us um he's he's been uh making a, a quick jaunt over to south carolina charleston area and uh just doing a really great job of of running his appointments doing door knocks staying positive all the while managing family and kids back home in savannah so just hats off to to matthew and, uh, and just the, the great job he's doing and just the positive attitude and just I'm fired up to, to work with a guy like that. So it's awesome. And it's great to see his sales. I think he had two or three sales this week. Uh, thank you. I know he's starting to report on, on band as well as uh, as well as Slack. It's much appreciated. And uh, if you're on here, buddy, we appreciate all you're doing. And uh, the, 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 I guess the ability and the willingness to travel goes a long way and uh, continued success to you for sure. Uh, Matthew Tolbert, uh, leadership or anyone else. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, I kind of wanted to echo a similar sentiment with, uh, he probably doesn't want me to say his name good, but I'm going to do it anyway to give him kudos. Uh, Joe has been a, a total trooper. He's been hit with, you know, some, some not so nice appointments that were set and um, he's had some no shows and he's gotten there and, and had some pretty negative connotation from the client at the door and uh, he literally, I, I would say he responded better to one client. He sent me the recording better than I might have done. And I was really impressed. He's just a super go getter. He's got a great attitude. I love the positivity. And, you know, he's ready to go out there. And he, he hasn't been able to get any AP yet, but he's had a presentation and he's prepared to go out for the next day or two and just door knock his butt off. You know, that's what it takes, guys. And, sometimes you're going to have weeks like that. It, it's the business that we're in, but the attitude that you have and the persistency that you keep and the activity that you put in is what's going to turn it around next week. So just keep at it and, and try to keep that attitude about you guys. Renee, well said. And I hope everybody heard what Renee said. It's so true. You can be getting your butt whooped all week long. You go out on Friday and Four thousand dollars, or your delivery notice. I know Van Summer's shaking his head. Vanessa, thank you for updating your name. I knew it was you, but it, it helps a lot. Thank you so much for doing that, uh, Renee. Just absolutely fantastic, Joe Lopez. I think that's what you're talking about, Renee. We're glad you're here. We're glad you're in the activity. Trust me, it will come. Uh, also, you just heard uh, Tim mention, you know, Matthew Tolbert, willing to travel to go make it happen, and he had a really solid. He's had a solid week this week because of it. So that's the tenacity. That's the things we have to do in our business to build and grow. Uh, and trust me when I tell you guys, 20 plus years of doing it, you're going to have your days, but it is worth it for sure. Thank you guys, leadership, for sharing. I don't want to steal anything from anybody. Anyone else have anything they'd like to share? So to make sure we leave that open. Hey, Corey, I do. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Mark. So uh, 
I've got three three folks uh, on the free league program and fresh leagues are starting to drop guys and, and it makes a big difference. So I just want to let you know uh, if you're still waiting on those to drop the day it happens, uh, once you start working with those, it, it does open up the opportunities for the agents. Uh, it doesn't change the work effort, ethic or effort. You know, we're still door knocking everything, but it, it does make a difference. Uh, team wise, uh, we're looking at, uh, we're doing, and Tim's going to help me uh, Monday. We're going to do some in-home training uh, on Monday morning, just to kind of help some people brush up on some things. We're hearing some things from the field. Uh, a lot of things we hear on Ben's call in the morning, you know, just how to overcome some objections and that sort of thing. Uh, some of the, some of the agents left a little money on the table this week. So we're going to try to, to fix that and, and turn that around. So excited about that, uh, making some changes on appointment setting. Uh, I'll share more about that later. Uh, but we've got a, uh, an all-star coming on board Monday to help us with that. Uh, and other than that, just excited about the program, the opportunities, things are starting to fall into place. I'm more one to sit back and, and kind of observe before I jump in with both feet. And, uh, we're getting to that point where we're jumping in, uh, anybody that's not, uh, jumped on your certifications for the carriers you better do that because <laughs> it's, Moment. it's a time consuming process. Um, uh, I would do that in the evenings and, and you know, non-income producing time is the best time to do that sort of thing if you can, but you got to get it done. So. Um, if you think you're going to hit AEP this fall, you better get that done uh, by September 1st, in my opinion. So that's yeah. it. I'm going to uh, add a couple things to that, Mark. And, and well said, and, and I know your team's getting ready to start blowing up here. I know you and I, congratulations to you. I know you probably don't want this out here, and you were probably reluctant to even post it the other day. But I know you're working with a large agency that you've been working with for quite some time. It's finally coming to fruition, um, and I'm super excited for uh, for you. I know it's a big group, but you know, consistently, there's probably going to be 10, 15, 20 of those guys that are going to start writing here soon. And uh, we're looking forward to good luck blowing up. You know, anything we can do to support that, you know, just a phone call away. I know we've talked a couple of times already, so my hat's off to me. I'll be you calling know, you, don't worry. Oh, yeah. I, hey, I'm ready for the phone call. <laughs> uh, I wanted to reiterate two things uh, because I heard Renee say it, and I know there's, I keep seeing Tim shake his head, so this is kind of tying us back in. But recordings, guys, if you're struggling out there, just like bit, send them to any of us. Tim Bela will take your recording. I'll take your recording. I'm going to put Mark out there. Got Tim, Vince, some, like, we'll listen to your recordings. We'll help you guys out. Third-party validation. When you're in the home or if you get stuck at the door and you're knocking the door and a person won't let you in, call. Just like Vince said, you're not asking for permission. Hey, my boss, I got to get you checked off the list. We need to make sure that, you know, we, we're getting you, you know, get, make sure we're getting you the information. Go right there. Pick up the phone. Call. Let them tell them no and have them sign that form if they will to cover you use those things and the 800 number i know you guys are using band you guys see people posting on slack but use the resources you have if you're not the best salesperson in the world use the resources until you get good if you stand in the batter's box long enough and keep watching 80 mile an hour fastballs come at you eventually they're going to slow down i promise you that but you got to put the activity and the effort in. tim that was for you by the way um you got to put the activity and the effort in in order to get there we know you guys are so well said mark uh, I'm going to move on from a uh, standpoint, unless somebody has a, anything quick to add from a, the positive good news standpoint. Okay, perfect. I'm going to share my screen, guys. If somebody else tries to jump on, just let me know. I'm happy to uh, uh, to get that done. E, uh, T minus two minutes, my friend, or less, and you're up. Looking forward to your message today, for sure. If you need me to share the screen, too, E, just let me know. All right. So, uh, let's see. Family business, we talk about this every single week, just to let you guys know. Uh, we do check business to make sure that you guys, if you are writing family business, it will go as earned. Just let us know ahead of time, guys. We don't have a problem with you writing it, but we know in this business, people do leave, right? If you leave three months, two months down the road, a lot of times that family business leaves with you. We have to run our business like a business. We have reporting. We have financials. We know who's doing great. great. We know who's not. That's why we do that. It's not to tap on somebody's shoulder and say, you're doing a bad job. Or to you know try to micromanage you. It's just making sure we're running our business like a business and we're profitable, so you're profitable. We do have the blitz. Um, I haven't received anything from anybody in, in probably a week or so, but that's okay. Uh, we'll continue to put this information out. October 3rd through the 5th will be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thank you, Gregory Pitts. And then San Diego, California will be October 3rd to the 10th uh, with ETE and his group. I'm sure he'll be happy to, uh, to host you guys that are coming down there. Leads will be $18 a piece, but we need to know who's coming because after the leads are gone, they're gone. So if you're interested in, in participating in either one of these events uh, for the fall blitz, just let us know. So just send me a Slack message. Tell me which one and we'll get you set up with Holden. 
Um, we're trying to keep things to a minimum in reference. You can reach out to Holden whenever you'd like, but we're trying to keep things to a minimum so he's not getting blown up with 50 different people and not knowing whose team they're on. You guys send the information to me. I'll get the information to your leader and over to Holden. If you have any questions, again, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the 3rd through the 8th, and, of course, beautiful San Diego, 3rd through the 10th. Uh, just a pro tip here, if you're going to go to the one in San Diego, of course, it's beautiful down there. Eve, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think San Diego is about three hours away from the, uh, the Mexico border. So if you're going to go to the one in San Diego, I know Eve will ha be happy to help you train you and all that kind of stuff. He's always willing to help others. Uh, but you better speak some pretty darn good Spanish, or I recommend going to the one in Milwaukee. Just a quick pro tip. All right, our meetings Monday through Friday, everybody's got those down. We already talked about please using your first and last name on those meetings and any meetings we have as a team, 8 to 8.30. Ben Bowman knocks it out every single day, uh, every single week. Then Holden puts on a Monday call for final expense, but you can ask pretty much whatever you want on there. He does record those as I get them. I send them out to the team, but that's Monday, 7 p.m. Central. And then on Wednesday, Holden has another meeting, which you just heard Mark reference. On Wednesday, the Medicare training. So you can get on there, ask whatever you like. Also, there is a, no, not sure we hear, this gets talked about a lot, on the final expense services website, there is a Medicare training tab. So if you've been given access to, which all of you guys should have gone through that, the training, the final expense training, the Medicare training is on there as well. As Mark was mentioning with the certifications, I was finishing, still have about two exams left, finishing that with uh, at the last night. It is time consuming, but if you're interested in getting set up, we can get you hooked up with Holden. There is still time to get you set up for this AEP season which stands for annual enrollment, by the way, Medicare. Last couple of things before we shift it over to E, uh, they were gracious enough to put the SummerSlam contest in place. Some of you guys are probably too young to even know who that guy is on the right, Mr. Hulk Hogan, which I thought was pretty funny and very weird what they did last week to kick this program off. But 5,000 or more in AP annualized premium is a $350 bonus, 8,000 is 750, 10,000 is 1,000, 15,000, which I guarantee you we have people that will hit that as a $2,000 bonus, and $20,000 of annual premium is a $3,000 bonus. There are still two days today and tomorrow to hit those numbers. And last but certainly not least, we're going to bring on Mr. ETE, uh, Mr. Extraordinary himself, and he's going to talk about in-home and closing the deal. Once E is done, as usual, we're going to go through uh, the numbers for the Cancun contest and then our numbers for the week. Again, record weeks back to back to back to back and over 113000 this week with a couple days left. So that being said... Mr. Mendez, let me go ahead and cancel that. Uh, is there, Edward, do you need me to give you the screen or are you just going to come on and <laughs> No, talk? I don't need it. Thank you, though. Perfect. You're welcome. Thank you. Edward Mendez, you're up, my friend. Man, good morning, everybody. Was that morning training meeting good today or was it good? I'll take the silence as it was good. Okay, great. So, look, ladies uh -huh. and gentlemen. What, I, what I'll do today is, is, is really uh, sharing with, my, my goal is to see exactly where is everybody needing more of a help with, instead of, I'm not here to give you guys any motivation. You should be motivated yourself by now. Um, so let's do more of a Q and A type of deal in the sense of, man, what part of in the in-home the in -home or in the door knock are you struggling with? Um, I will say that I'm pretty good at what I do. Um, just yesterday itself, I had seven, seven cells. And um, how do you call it? Three of them were door knocks, four of them were sits. Um, so I'll be more than happy to answer anything that uh, anything that you guys might have questions with. So yeah, I got a question. Uh, and, and guys, please, please ask questions here. I mean, that's what this is being put out for. E has been consistently uh, in reference to teams, our top team, uh, since we've been here for the last, this is our 11th week. Um, he's been consistently one of the top performers issue paid business just a few weeks ago was number two in the entire country uh, has just come on he's, he's learning Medicare and has already written several Medicare applications so uh, in, in my opinion you have an expert here that you can ask questions of um, e, I'll ask you this question and not to put you on the spot but I, I know you'll be able to answer this um, I know we're talking specifically in home so you go in home you build the rapport and you're sitting there with with Mr. and Mrs. Jones and they start giving you, um, you know, rebuttal of they can't afford it. How would you handle that? Man, great question. First thing that I do whenever they tell me they can't afford it, it's um, I'll let them know perfect. One thing that we'll do is we're going to find something that we, where it is affordable. We're going to start off with the basic package today. And then from there, I'm going to submit your application. 
And in three to six months, I'm going to follow up with you. And I'm just going to ask you a simple question. Do you want me to increase? Are you in a better financial position? Uh, let's go ahead and do that, right? So the one thing that I don't do is I don't ask permission. I don't ask them, hey, let me show you this. Is this going to be more comfortable for you, right? I don't, I don't do that. I let them know, perfect. I'm glad that you told me that even though you decide to change your mind now and say, hey, man, I think I can afford this now. I'll, I'll tell you this. I'm not going to write it up because I want to make sure that you're never in a bind. So uh, we're going to start off with the basic package today. And then I'm going to follow up with the both of you so we can increase the package. Uh, so let me see your driver license, please. And it works. Yeah. One, thing that I, one thing that I've learned is people want to be guided. They don't... Uh, the moment that you start giving the, the client uh, authority, then at that very moment, the client is like, you know what, like I have, I'm the one that is in control and I can say no. It's awesome. Great answer, Ian. Hey, can I ask a question on top of that? Please do. Yeah, go for it. So, you know, whenever you're walking them through that process, they, they tend to get a little bit uncomfortable. Um, man, how do you handle that or get get through that because they might be thinking we're, we're you know scammers or something not for sure so i'm a big believer of making the client feel very comfortable and most importantly making the client laugh right i want them to laugh so at that moment if i feel like you, you should be able to feel that energy if i do feel like the client make my think or feel that this is a scam like i'll be like hey let's let's let's, let's pump up the brakes real quick i feel as though though that you might not, you might think I'm a scammer. I'm here to scam you. Look, I got a beautiful family. I have a beautiful wife. I said, I'm not here to overcook your grids. I said, this is what we're going to do. This is my state license. And then I'll give them my business card. And I'll be like, in my business card, this is my state license number. My job is going to be very simple today, Justin. It's, we're going to go and see and verify what you may qualify for. And then from there, I'm going to submit your application. And I will make sure that I leave you in a better place. Fair enough. And Justin, first, e, that's spot on. Justin, let me let me toss this at you too. And then Tim Below, we still got you. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you really quick because I think this will help Justin and a few other people. Um, Justin, I think some of this, and I'm not saying you're doing this or not. This is for everybody, myself included. A lot of times, that's in your setup, right? Ben talks about this all the time when you go in and you're trying to build rapport, and he's gotten recordings from elite agents that are right here within our team. They go in and within a minute of going in, they're already starting to ask health questions. You build no rapport that way. And it seems like a, a, just a, you're coming in, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and you're out. Um, as he was talking about, one of the things I do when I sit down, one of the first things I do is show my license. Show my driver's license. I know some people are like, I never show my driver's license. I show my driver's license. I show my state license. If I have multiple others, I show that. I'll show a picture of me and my daughter to try to relate to them as I'm, as I'm walking through to sit at that kitchen table, I'm looking for things around their house to start talking to them about. I don't like talking about the weather. Everybody, every salesperson on the planet does that. Oh, it's so hot out. Well, hell yeah, it's hot outside. It's 110 degrees, duh. I want to talk about things that are relevant to them, things that I can tie in so that I'm like them and they're like me. At nine and a half out of 10, it's always going to be family. Or if you see some artwork or you, know, you see something unique that's in their house that you can genuinely have a real conversation about, that's where I start. But that building the rapport and starting to get that trust starts from, from minute one. Tim, you have, because I've seen your presentation, you and I've done it before, you have one of the best setups I've ever seen. That way, when you get to the end, you typically don't have that uh, rebuttal. Do you mind taking 10, 15 seconds talking about your setup? Well, I mean, just just real, real, real quick. Um, you know, one of the things, you know, just like what E was saying and, and what Corey's saying, it, it, it's really all in the in the setup, it's how you make that person feel. One of the things that I do, I always tell them, hey, we got three objectives today. We got to find something that's that's affordable, something that does what you want it to do. But most importantly, we got to find something that you qualify for. And, uh, you know, if we can't hit all three of those, we're just going to shake hands. And then uh, I'm going to be out the door and because um, uh, I've got, you know, several other families to see. Now, I know that I can cover them. But again, I'm just setting them at ease knowing that, you know, hey, I'm not here to, uh, you know, sell you something. I'm, I'm here to genuinely help get you covered. And, you know, that that's worked for me. Everybody's got their got their own thing that 
that they use. So uh, again, it's, you know, it's like uh, E was saying, it's just setting the table right in, in the beginning. And I, I love what he said is just the fact that um, you're in control. You're, you're, you're not asking for permission. I, I, I think that's what, what E had said. So, so just taking control, having the doctor patient relationship, you're the doctor, they're, they're the patient. It. Thanks, Tim. E, back to you, man. I need to steal the floor there, but Justin, I hope that helps. Yeah. You know what? Well, while we at it, man, I wanna, um, I wanna just give a big shout out to Justin. Uh, when Justin just first started, man, he was he was struggling. Um, he was going through a lot of different hurdles, and um, but one thing that he asked, he was like, "Dude, what do I do?" And I said, "Very simple, man. You just make one commitment, and that commitment is you're not gonna quit for 12 months. You won't quit. You just won't quit. It's gonna get hard." especially if you are new to this, especially if you if you don't have the confidence in this business, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with you. Just don't quit. You just, you just don't quit for 12 months. Like, it's going to get tough. You're going to get the waves, the thunder. It's going to happen. You just don't quit and ask for help. And, and he did, man. He did. And now every day that dude's out there, freaking door knocking appointments, calling. He follows the process so exactly to the T, to the T. He calls Cody. He calls the hotline. He'll call me. He'll send recordings, right? He's constantly asking, how can I improve, right? Just, just going out of his way, like making it happen. And now the dude is like, he is thriving. And I'm just so excited to see what's going to happen with him in the next 12 months. I know he's going to be a freaking shark. Uh, so I just want to just give him a nice little shout out, him and Cody. Congratulations, Justin, man. Number uh, number four this week with the team, 62-22 with seven families protected, which we'll get into that. But that's what happens when you plug in, you do the recordings, you ask for help. There's other people here to pour into you. There's other people here to help you. Um, and this is case in point. Congratulations, man. That's fantastic, man. Justin. Keep doing great work. Yeah, hey, awesome. Can, yeah, can go I for add it. some? Oh. No, Robert, yeah, I think you were talking first. All right. Um, so uh, how do you uh, overcome uh, when you're trying to build that rapport, you're trying to set the, um, the standard for them, and they try to jump right straight in about saying, what is this all about? Let's get to it. Um, Man. And you haven't really built the, the trust and the rapport with them yet. Gotcha. Um, very simple for me, once again. Um, first and foremost, I think you have to know, and this is, I'm just going to say this out loud, you got to know how how you do your thing, right? Like, I, I love Ben's presentation. I think everybody has their own unique way. Ben and everybody talks about you got to have like 10, 15 minutes to build report. Personally, myself, my report building is from the moment that you open the door to the moment that I sit down, right? That's that's as far as I go, because my, my whole report building is while I'm filling out the whole financial sheet and it works for mm -hmm. me people that people that have gone with me they see how i do it personally right but that works for me right so i i as i'm walking like i'm i'm never gonna say anything about i'm not gonna talk about a boat if i don't know jack squad about boats so one thing that i'm doing is i'm walking in looking for something that i know that i can personally relate to right um me personally i'm a big believer in my lord jesus christ so I'm always looking for a cross. I'm looking for something of verse of, of the scripture because that's, that's going to be my biggest icebreaker that I have, right? I'll be like, hey, man, it looks like you know my brother, right? And I'll be like, your brother? And I'm like, yeah, man, you know my brother, man. He adopted me into the kingdom six years ago, right? When, when, when were you adopted? And at the moment, we'll laugh. And then from there, I'll, um, I'll start going into it. But before that, I'll be like, hey, so quick question. Who... What cost you, to, if, I'm, if I'm with somebody by themselves, what cost you to, to fill this out and send it back to us? Like, what was that for you? What happened? Like, did you almost die? Did a relative die? Like, what happened? Tell me your story. If it's with a family, I'll ask them, man, who was the smart one that, that, that filled it out and send it back? And then I look at the guy and I'll be like, please tell me it was you. Please tell me it was you so we can get one for the guys. Right? And then they'll be like, oh, no, it was actually her. And I was like, eh, I knew it. It's always those ladies. They're freaking brilliant, aren't they? And I'll give them a high five, right? Say, I'm a big believer. If we touch, if I can touch you, if I touch a man's shoulder, if I can give you a pound, if I can give you a high five, I just broke a boundary, right? And we became friends. 
So it's easier for you and I to be more comfortable, not to the point that you and I are friends, 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 we're in the friend zone, but more so comfortable with, hey, I feel comfortable with you. Like I can relate to you. I touched, I touched your skin, right in a sense. So that's what I do. Great question, Robert. Fantastic question and, and a great answer also, E. Um, there's something called the seven essentials of sales um, and humor is one of them. I know for a fact I'm not funny. I think I am, but I know I'm not. But I usually am able to get a, Amy, stop smiling. Uh, but I'm usually able to get people to smile right away, but just by doing something silly and not unprofessional, but just something to kind of break the ice. If you can separate yourself from being what they have in their mind as that typical salesperson, you're coming in to sell them life insurance, you're going to be so much further ahead. Sorry, guys, I get a lot of spam phone calls. Uh, you're going to be so much further ahead. So remember that when you go in and, you, and you're sitting down, even from knocking on the door, you know, just some of those techniques that you do, men stepping off the porch, turning sideways. I think Ben mentioned earlier this week, and he's not a very big guy, but he said when he does that, if he says somebody's got flowers, he'll go down and just act very unassuming, make himself very small, make himself minuscule and start picking, you know, looking at their flowers and running their, those things make a difference. You guys are going to laugh when I say this, but this stuff works. When you pull up at a home, be ready to rock and roll when you get to the house. Don't pull up and be finally getting your portfolio and your iPad or whatever device you use ready. When you pull up, be ready to go. When you get out of the car, wave at the house. I'm telling you straight up. I know it sounds crazy, but if you're looking out the window and they go, damn, he saw me, that kind of stuff. How do they not answer the door at that point, right? It's those little things that make such a big difference. So building that rapport as quickly as you can. I know he said that's, you know, the way he does it, the way he does it's the same way that Tim does it, the same way I do it. They'll sit down, build rapport, take a couple minutes. I've even heard people saying that they use a stopwatch and have five to seven minutes set on their stopwatch before they do anything other than build rapport. Literally, they have a stopwatch sitting there sitting on the client doesn't know what they're doing, but they will not start having a conversation about business before they spend five to seven minutes talking to that person and finding out something about them. Do you need to go to that, that extreme? Maybe, maybe not. But all of this stuff is in your setup. So when you get to the end, you're not getting that. I need to think about it and all that other stuff. You found out their why. You know it's their daughter that works at Dollar General that has three kids that can't afford to take care of herself. So how is she going to bury you if she doesn't? She doesn't have an extra ten dollars or $15,000 sitting aside. You'll find that stuff out through the questioning. That's fantastic. I think we lost E. Um, but we were, I was going to ask for one more question anyway. So I think we'll get to mm -hmm. the end here. Try to be, uh, I saw you hop back on E. Uh, but uh, anything, any one last question for E, if not, then we'll go to the numbers. Edward, first of all, thanks for, for you know, pouring into us today. I know everybody's busy. I love these Friday calls because it kind of gives me a, a, a pulse of who's, in, who's really involved, um, who's wanting to get better. Great question, Robert, and everybody else as well. So anything else before we get into numbers? All right. Well, I have a, a big announcement. He's probably not going to like that I do this, but, um, and it's not really an announcement, but Tim is one of, as you guys know, I don't hide it. He's one of my dear friends in the world, um, known him for 20 plus years. And I've had, you know, uh, you know, just uh, been able to grow personally because of Tim and professionally and have opportunity to meet Tim. And he's welcomed me in his home and I've met his wife and his kids and all that. And I've known Tim for a very, very long time. But Tim and his wife, I think, are celebrating their 20th, uh, 28th uh, wedding anniversary. So, uh, Tim, I at some point had gotten to 28 days with somebody. So. I can't imagine 28 years with your partner. So congratulations to you. I know we had a couple of birthdays. If we missed any birthdays or anything like that, happy birthday to you guys, your loved ones and everything else. So Tim, happy 28th, my friend, to you and Megan. I know it's tomorrow. It. You're welcome, my friend. All right, E, thanks again. We appreciate you. I think we got two questions and then we'll swing to the numbers, get you guys back about your day. Jeff Scott, yep, that's awesome. Um, I think you're asking me about, Breeder, I think you're asking about AEP, I think. Um, AEP October 15th through December 7th, if that's what you're asking. You're on mute, Mike. There's an SEP for the flood right now. Special? Yeah. You're talking about the special moment period? Yeah, for the flood. Okay. okay. I don't have the dates in front of me, uh, but I'll find them out and get them, get them to you. I'll ask them. Hey, I got a qu question real, real quick, Mark. Sure. E. Edward, I could probably bet you don't get I want to think about it very much, do you? Say that again? You don't get, I want to think about it very much, do, do you? And can you explain why you don't? Get oh, it? yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, you know what? I'll say this, though. I do get a lot. I got to think about it. But it's just knowing how to overcome it. 
So whenever I get a, I don't got to think about it, right? The time that I do get that, I got to think about it type of deal. Like the people, people can read you, right? They can see if you start to panic, if you start to look nervous, if you start to stutter, uh, 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 uh. Like they don't notice that they're at that moment they know they won. So what I do, I take a, I take a nice little breath, I smile at them, and I say, "Outstanding." I said, "There's two reasons why you gotta think about it. The first reason is price. The second reason is clarity. Which one was it for you, Michael? Right? Sometimes they'll tell me clarity. I'll be like, "Man, outstanding. What part did you have no clarity? Well, so I can make sure that I can give you that clarity, so we can make the best educated decision today." Oh, well, this part, outstanding. I'll clarify and I'll be like, perfect. Are we gonna go with A, B or C? Which one do I submit your application for today? B, perfect. Most people go with that B part. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of. I'll find out in 45 seconds if you got approved or not. But the best thing that I can share is everything is confidence, man. I share with this with, with, with every guy that I get the opportunity to work with it. Man, you don't go up to a girl nervous asking her if she wants to go out on a date with you. She'll tell you no. You're nervous. You're scared. Why would a why would a pretty girl go out with a guy that is nervous? Right? Ask any girl. You can have a good looking guy, six foot, ripped up, nice suit, smelling good. But if you go up to him, he starts talking, then the guy sounds nervous. You're gonna be like, oh man, what a waste of man. Right? You're gonna have another guy that's probably not the best, but that dude walks with confidence. He goes up to, hey, let's dance. Doesn't even ask you, would you like to dance? Come on, let's dance. Freaking energy is bumping. She's going to be like, what the heck? Let's do it. This guy's energy is awesome. Right? And the same thing with this business. People want to know, like, dude, are you confident? Like, can I trust you? Like, are you collective? Are you calm? And that works for me, man. It never fails. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks again, E. Much appreciated. Uh, thank you yes, guys sir. for staying on. I'm going to cover the numbers. Great questions, great interaction, great energy today for sure. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget the contest goes uh, up until, uh, I guess, today and tomorrow, end of business tomorrow. And uh, we'll go from it. If you guys have any questions, we'll continue to, uh, to post the information out there. I'm going to share my screen one last time. And we'll go over numbers for those of you guys that like to see that. And we had several people, I think four or five people that broke their personal best yesterday so we will get that information out on slack uh here in just a little bit so SummerSlam, i'm going to cover it again since it just popped up again you guys can see the numbers this will be posted on slack again uh save you guys some time thanks again e the cancun contest is heating up of course uh most of you guys are following the you know the if you post on there we'll, we'll figure it out but uh only final expense business counts must post the sale on the day that it happens in slack not just banned but in slack as an example, if it's Royal Neighbors, 1,200 Royal Neighbors FE, that way we know it's final expense. The agent with the highest number of families protected will win the contest, must be a minimum of 40 families protected between July 1st and the end of September. Three-day, two-night, all-inclusive uh, resort uh, that uh, we're happy to put together for you guys. Um, we just have, or I think we have 29 people that have submitted at least one application for the contest, but for time's sake, uh, we'll go over the top 10. So, uh, Michael Greeter, and congratulations, Michael, on your uh, your annuity. This is absolutely fantastic, over 400K, and uh, also wrote a cancer application yesterday. So, tremendous job, Michael. Keep up the great work. Seven total applications uh, so far for the contest. Josh Sullivan, eight applications. Ash, eight applications. Robert Golden, 11 applications. Well done, Robert. Mr. Jordan Sofa, 11 applications. And there's uh, Justin right there cracking the top five. And uh, Justin, I know it seems like it's a long way from, from number five to number one, but uh, you got a formidable foe with Cody, but uh, we know that you can do it. So looking forward to more numbers from you, protecting more families and your own financially. So congratulations, Justin, number 13 to crack our top five. Taylor Bowen, number thir uh, 13 as well. Number four, I guess tied for fourth there with Justin and, and uh, Taylor. We got Ryan Vallette with 16 families. And uh, this thing is heating up big time with Michael Salazar and Cody. Uh, respectively, Michael Salazar with 23 families protected and Cody, 27 families protected so far. And uh, we know this contest is just heating up. So congratulations to everyone that's protected the family, but especially our top 10 that are uh, pushing this program for sure. Congratulations, Cody, for being at the uh, uh, number one. Seems like it's going to be tape to tape, but you got a lot of a uh, lot of competition behind you for sure.
In reference to our strings, we have 23 agents that are on strings. This information is from last week because we're in this current week. Uh, this is a record for us, two weeks in a row. I am going to read off the name. So with two weeks of strings, we got a lot of people. With two weeks, we've got Robert, Tim Van Sumren, Jeremy, uh, Anthony Romero, Grant, Gustavo, Josh Dutton, uh, Mike Depati, and uh, let's see, Colton Kelly, Gregory Pitts are all two-week app strings, three-week app strings. We got Mr. The Bearded Biker himself, Donnie Young with three weeks, Ash with three weeks, uh, Justin at three weeks. And then uh, in the four-week territory here, we got Mr. Josh Sullivan uh, down there, I believe, in Alabama, four weeks there, Brandon Presley at four weeks. And now we start to get into the, uh, the big time here. Alex D, five weeks in a row that he's protected at least one family. Ryan V, Ryan Valet was six weeks. Michael Greeter, seven weeks in a row that he's protected a family. Great job, Ryan. Cody Wetzel, eight weeks in a row. Great job, Cody, leading, the, leading from the front there. We've got Mr. Charles uh, Schumann, 10 weeks in a row. ETE, 10 weeks in a row that he's protected at least one family. And what can we say? Miss Renee Barker has not missed writing, uh, protecting at least one family for well over a year now with 68 weeks in a row. That is a total of 23 of our teammates uh, that are on strings of at least two weeks or more. Congratulations, you guys. We had a record week last week. As I mentioned, we're back to back to back to back, which is very exciting. Again, you guys know how I am about recognition. So we're gonna recognize uh, our teammates that protected at least one family last week. I'm gonna go through this very quickly. Uh, we've got Grant at 456. We've got, uh, let's see, Anthony at 480. Jo uh, Jeff Scott at 612. Vanessa at 786, Gustavo 872 with one family protected. You guys heard uh, Tim, as we affectionately call him Sizzle, uh, Tim Van Summeren with uh, his teammate, Matthew Talbert at 960. Great job, Matt, uh, Matthew, uh, protecting his first family for 960. Jeremy at 960, Josh Sullivan, 1,036. Crystal Roark, great job, Crystal, $1,242. Ryan V, 1265, continuing his string. Walter Phillips, 1515 for two families protected. Uh, we've got Brandon Presley, 2214. Solid week there for Brandon with three families protected. Josh Dutton, 2330. Robert Golden, 2365. Three families protected. Great job, Robert. And then uh, Mr. Consistency here, Justin here at 2536 with three families protected. Sizzle Tim V at 2609. Ash at 2693. Alex D at 2700. Five families protected for the number 13 spot. Michael Salazar, 2750, five families protected. Mr. Depati, 2755. Cecile at 2768, number 10, uh, to crack the top 10 for the first time. So congratulations, Cecile. <clears throat> My iPad is doing its own thing. Sorry about that, guys. We got Michael Greeter, 2840 last week for two families protected. Nice job, Michael, for being number 10 or nine, excuse me. We got Andrea at 30, 3444. Mr. Gregory Pitts, 53-27, and I'm having another awesome week this week. Number seven spot was seven families protected. The bearded biker, Donnie Young, 62-93, two very solid weeks back-to-back. -back. Cody Wetzel leading the Cancun contest with 64-87, five families protected. Uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Colton Kelly, $6,666. That's a mouthful. Four families protected uh, to step in the number four spot. And our top three. Again, always in the top five, Renee Barker, $7,071 leading the way this week, uh, excuse me, second this week with 10 families protected, the number three spot, $7,071. Congratulations, Renee. Charles Showman quietly protecting families week in and week out, 7860 with six total families. And the man, the myth, the legend, I know I said that already, but it is warranted. Edward ETE, Mr. Extraordinary himself, Mendez, $10,079, Team total applications. Tremendous week last week, Edward. Congratulations for being number one again. And our brings our grand total last week, $92,205, 102 families protected. We have already exceeded that amount already this week from a number standpoint, uh, and the week's not over. We still have today, tomorrow, and Sunday, and we know that uh, we'll just continue to shatter records. In reference to our top five, I know that says number six, I uh, just wanted to uh, give, a, uh, I guess, an honorable mention, and I'm not an honorable mention guy to Renee for being over 5,000 again, but uh, for this week so far, our top five, six, if you will, Renee Barker, $5,159 for a total of 11 families protected. Amazing job, Renee. Top five, just, uh, uh, Josh Dutton, $5,899 for five fam total families protected. 
And again, we just talked about him again. Justin, keep up the great work, my friend. $6,221, number seven, uh, with seven families protected. Michael Salazar, another solid week, 63.45 here in St. Louis, six families protected. Jordan Sofa having his best week so far at 86.98 families protected. And Michael Greeter just crushed it all um, with his numbers, not only just uh, with the cancer, life insurance sales, but also his annuity for a total of $45,408 with the two annuities for the week. Guys, we appreciate all you do. Thank you guys for being on. Thank you for supporting our agency as we continue to build with you. As E said earlier, he said this to Justin. We say this every single week and you guys see this. Give us a year, we'll give you a career. Guys, thanks for your time. Be safe out there and bye for now.